Hey you guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to delete photos from your iCloud to free up some space. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this on your iOS or Mac device, and I'm also going to show you how to do this on the web. So have your phone or your MacBook on hand so you can follow along as we go through. Let's jump right in. If your iOS or Mac device is connected to your iCloud through photo sharing, then anytime you delete um, photos or videos from your photo library on your device, your device is going to sync with your iCloud and on the next backup, your iCloud is going to update all of the photos and videos that you had deleted on your device and it will be deleted on your iCloud as well. Once they've been deleted, just as on your phone or laptop, it'll be put into the recently deleted folder where you can go in through there and also delete. There's a 30 day window in that recently deleted um, folder in which you can go back and recover those photos if you accidentally deleted one or or you wanted to use it again for some reason, you can go in and you can recover those photos or videos. But after those 30 days, all of that media is gonna be automatically deleted from that recently deleted folder and you can no longer access it. The first method I'm gonna show you is the iOS method. So you're gonna to wanna to have your iPhone with you um, so you can follow along. The first thing we're gonna do is launch our Photos app. And then you're gonna open the photo which you want to delete. Once you're here, you're gonna click on the screen. So it's gonna display a bunch of different options here. And then down in the bottom right corner, you'll find that trash bin or the delete icon. And you're gonna select this and you're going to select delete photo. As you can see in the smaller print above delete photo, it's going to give you that same information that I told you before. Um, it's gonna go into your recently deleted folder and you have that 30 day window to either recover or delete from there. So once I click delete photo, it's automatically disappeared into that recently deleted. If you've never gone into your recently deleted folder before, I'll show you how to access it. So you're gonna go into your albums in the top left corner of your screen. You can also click it in the bottom right of your screen as well. Um, and it's gonna bring you to all of the albums that you have in your photos. And you're going to scroll down until you find recently deleted. It's gonna be at the very bottom under utilities. So you'll open up that recently deleted Normally there'll be a password or passcode or face ID um, within this folder so nobody can open or look into your recently deleted except for you. And once you're in there, you'll select that photo that you had just deleted. And in the bottom, you can see you have on the left hand side, you can either delete it and on the right hand side, you can recover it. If you wanted to delete this photo for good and you knew you didn't have to access it again, you would simply click that delete again um, and confirm the deletion. Now, if for example, you were mass deleting a bunch of photos to clear up space, it would be super tedious to go in and use that method I just showed you. So what you can do is mass select photos. And to do this, you're gonna go up to the top right and, and just click on that select option. And now what you can do is just go through and tap on any and all of the photos that you want um, to put in your deleted folder. As you can see in the bottom right corner of each of those selected photos and videos, there's going to be a blue check mark, and that's just indicating that they are the ones that you've selected. And then you're just going to go down to the bottom right corner again and click the trash can. It's going to just tell you how many items you have selected, and you'll click delete six items. Once again, we can go back into that recently deleted folder just by going into albums, scrolling all the way down, clicking on recently deleted, and then if I wanted to mass select these and permanently delete them, I can just follow those same steps. So I'll click select. Another really efficient feature on Apple is that you can also slide to delete. So if there were a bunch of photos, I can slide my finger across the screen like so. Um, and it's just going to select those in a much more efficient way. Once I have those selected, I'm going to click the three dots in the bottom right corner. And then I'm going to click delete or as I said before, I can recover them. And then I'll just confirm this delete. Hey, if you're finding this video helpful, you can also support the channel through super stickers. Super stickers basically just help fund the channel and it helps us continue to create content for you guys. Thanks, and let's get back to the video. If you're noticing that your iCloud isn't syncing with your photos after you've deleted um, a certain amount of things, then you just wanna make sure that the sync is on. And to do this, you're just gonna go in to your settings, click on your Apple ID at the top, and then you'll go in to your iCloud. And then underneath apps using iCloud, you'll find that photos icon. You'll click on this. And as you can see, mine is currently turned off, which means that anything that I delete out of my iOS library is not gonna sync with my iCloud library. So if and when I turn that on, it's just gonna automatically sync and it's gonna update all of the deletes I made in my iCloud library. Next, I'm gonna show you how to do this on the web. Um, and so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to iCloud.com. Once I'm here, I'm just gonna sign in to my iCloud. 
you may be prompted to manually enter your email and password. Otherwise, you might be prompted um, to sign in using Face ID or your passcode. So I'm just going to go into my photo library here. I'll select the photo that I want to delete. And then just as in our iOS, on the bottom right hand side, we'll find that trash icon. We'll click this and we'll confirm the delete. May take a couple moments to delete it. And then it's just going to indicate that it's saving the changes in the bottom. Unfortunately, with the iCloud version, you can't do any mass deleting. You'd have to go through and manually delete just like the way I showed you. It's a little more tedious, but it works all the same. Okay, now let's jump over to our MacBook and I'm going to show you guys how to do the same thing. Okay, so the MacBook method is just as easy as the iPhone method. Um, you're simply going to select the Photos app. It should be on your toolbar here at the bottom. If not, you can always find it using the search bar at the top here. We're going to launch our photos. Once they're open, we're just going to double click on one of the photos and it's going to bring a drop down menu here. And at the very bottom, we'll find the delete option here. When we select this, it's going to display that same message as it did on the iPhone, just explaining that this video is being sent to the recently deleted folder and you have 30 days to either delete it permanently or recover it. So I'm going to delete this permanent or I'm going to send that to my recently deleted folder. If I wanted to mass select any photos, to mass select on your MacBook, you're simply going to hold down your shift button and select the photos. So I can go through and select as many as I want. If I wanted to go through and mass delete. Once those are all selected, I'll do a double click on one of them. And at the very bottom, we'll find the delete nine videos here. Once we click this, we'll have to confirm our delete. And now these have all been sent to our recently deleted folder as well. To access your recently deleted, you're going to have to be in full screen mode for your photos. And you'll find the recently deleted album on the left hand side at the bottom. Once you select it, um, you're going to be prompted to either enter your password, passcode, or touch ID if you have it. And once you're here, you can delete all of these out of here. Um, if you just wanted to delete one, you're just going to do that double click and you can delete it or recover it. Otherwise, you can click that delete all in the top right corner. And then you'll just confirm the delete. If like I showed you on the iPhone, your iCloud for some reason isn't syncing up with your MacBook photos, you'll want to check that the photos is synced on here as well. And to do this, you're just going to go up to the top left and select the Apple icon here. There'll be a drop down menu and you're going to go to system settings. Once you're here, you're going to go up to your Apple ID and select this and then select your iCloud and beneath apps using iCloud, you'll find your photos. You'll click on this and it's just going to display this option right away for you um, to sync your Mac. And if this toggle was turned off, then you would just simply want to turn that on and save your changes. Alrighty, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you found this helpful and one or all of these methods worked for you. Thanks for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.